Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna share a couple of really quick cinematic edits on Lightroom. Haven't done editing tutorials in a while. I'm gonna keep this brief and quick, so let's get into it. So today I'm gonna show you two edits. First, a nighttime photo, and uh, second, a daytime photo. If you'd like to see a more complete breakdown of how to actually take cinematic photos and what exactly makes a photo cinematic, check out the video I did last year. I go into much more detail on that topic. We're gonna start with this photo that I took in Tokyo. I feel like it's gonna be one of the best examples of the usual type of cinematic night street photography edits that I do. As always, the first step, fix exposure and do a crop. A tighter or a wider crop is, of course, the most cinematic, that is very obvious. Gonna make a blue-white balance to get a color contrast between the reds here and the blue here. Adding a little bit of contrast and a certain look with the curve. Nothing crazy here, just a tiny S-curve. It's gonna do the trick. Tuning individual colors, I like to go in the blue and make it more teal. And the luminance helps you add a little bit of a contrast into the right parts of the photo in the blues. Also a bit of a glow effect. We could also go into the reds and make it more orange. That is optional. Don't go overboard with this. Don't go all the way here. Sometimes I use the what used to be called split toning, but it's now something else, color grading, to add stuff into the shadows. But I'm not gonna do it for this photo. In the effects panel, the instinct to usually is to go to the right, but I like to go to the left to add a bit of a glowy, dreamy look. Vignette is not really necessary for this photo, but usually in nighttime photos especially, it fits well because everything's already dark and it helps you draw the eyes to the subject. Depending on how I'm feeling, grain is optional, make a more retro film-like look. Not gonna do it for this photo though. Then we can fine tune the sliders here. A little bit more highlights, this is gonna add more glow and a contrast. You could crush the shadows, but careful of not making this photo too dark. Usually it's good to take a break for at least 15 minutes, then come back and look at this again and fine tune the small elements of the photo. And also look at it with a white and a black background to make sure that it works in all amounts of light and make sure you're editing with a bright screen as well. And to finish off, we could add a little bit of a radial gradient here. This is optional that I sometimes like to do, especially for these type of umbrellas and add clarity into it to kind of exaggerate these raindrops. And I think that is our edit. Now it's very quick to do this because I already know what I'm doing, but usually my edits would take at least 15 to 20 minutes per photo, depending on the photo, but sometimes even several days. Now perhaps a more interesting edit. This is a photo that I took during a shoot a couple of weeks ago. I have the BTS video of the shoot on my channel as well. And this is a daytime photo, but I like my photos dark. This is a type of edit that's only gonna work for certain types of photos. It has to be a rainy day. There can't be too many highlights, otherwise it's not gonna work. Anyway, again, we're gonna start with a crop for cinematic purposes. But the edit is based on basically removing a lot of light. We can do it with the exposure, but this time we're just gonna do it with the curve and start dropping the shadows by quite a lot and not touching the highlight part at all. And a little bit of a raised black point helps us add color with the shadows. So again, we're gonna get the same color contrast by adding blue into the shadows here. When we're out shooting, we're looking for reds and yellows like these but it looks very bright in real life. Even brighter than this because it's already shot a little bit underexposed. And because this edit is inspired by the ectachrome film, we add a little bit of grain. And also vignette helps us make it even more dark to kind of increase the fake nighttime illusion. I should probably crop out this little part here as well because it kind of gives away that it's not actually nighttime. Maybe the grain is a little over down here and the color could be a little bit of a different shade of blue. But basically that is the logic behind this kind of edits. Again, it works for only a certain type of scenes. You can't take these photos on a sunny day and then expect these kind of edits to work. But basically that is how you can make daytime moody photos almost look like nighttime moody photos. And that is what I like to do on those kind of days. Hopefully that was interesting. Here is again the before and the after. Thank you for watching. Hopefully those editing tutorials give you some sort of tips or ideas on what to do with your own edits in order to make your photos more cinematic. 
If you enjoyed them, please share this video on Twitter or Reddit or whatever, and uh, leave me a like, and uh, thank you very much for watching.